Hey guys, so welcome back. In this video, we'll be trying to solve the 728 lead code problem that is self dividing numbers. Alright, a self dividing number is a number that is divisible by every digit it contains. For example, 1 to 8 is a self dividing number because uh, 1 to 8 modulus 1, 2, and 3, I mean 1, 2, and 8 is equal to 0. So basically, what they're saying is if the number is divisible by every digit that it contains, it is called a self dividing number. Okay. Also, a self-dividing number is not allowed to contain the digit 0. Now, why is that? Because any number divided by 0 is like not defined, right? Okay. So, given a lower bound and an upper bound, output a list of every possible self-dividing number, including the bounds, if possible. So, basically, like, they will like, give you left and right. So, you are supposed to find all the self-dividing numbers from left till right, okay? So now there are way, like many ways in which you could solve this. Well, actually, like just one proper way. So now what we'll do is we'll be having a variable called val. Okay, so we'll do num. Oops, that's my eraser. We'll do num is equal to val. Now why is that? So now let's say my uh, starting point is 11 and my ending point is 20. Okay, so my left is 11 and my right is 20. Okay, so now num will be equal to val. Now, why is that? Because to find the individual digits of the number, we like keep on like dividing num and uh, we'll keep on like finding the modulus, right? So the value of num will keep on getting modified. So in case we find that the number is divisible by every, I mean, by every digit that it, it contains, we'll be appending val to our answers list, okay? So now, uh, by the way, our list can be called result, which will be empty for now. And then we'll be having answer, which will be equal to true. Now I'll say why we need this. Okay. Oops. True. Okay. So now we'll be having a for loop, like going through like each number. So now inside the for loop, we'll be having a while loop saying while now, because we want this loop to continue until num is zero okay so while num now we'll be having mod now what is mod mod will be every digit of the number so it will be mod is equal to num modulus by 10 okay so now under this we'll be having mod okay so mod will be like nothing but every digit of the number so it will be something like this all right okay so now the mod of 11 will be 1 and when we like divide um, 11 and we take the next mod it will again be 1 okay so like you'll we'll basically find every digit of the number so now we have to check if mod is equal to 0 or value divided by mod is not equal to 0. Now if it is not equal to 0 basically what it means is that we can put answer is equal to false all right answer is equal to false and then we can just break out of the loop. Now why is that? Now say for example we have something like 20. Now 20 contains 0. Now 20 is not divisible by 0 right? Yeah. So we we'll, like put answer as false. Now let's come across a uh, val mod. Okay, val modulus mod should not be equal to zero. So now say for example I had 13 and mod is 3. Okay, so now 13 is not divisible by 3, right? So it's not a self-dividing number. And we want only self-dividing numbers. So like even then, like we'll put answer as false and we'll break out of the loop, right? And then if the answer like remains true, we can append value to our results. Okay, so now after this whole thing, we can like divide num so we can find the next digit of num. Okay, yeah, so now that's the basic idea of how to solve this. Okay, now let's code the whole solution out. So now the first thing is we'll be having a results list then for i in range. We want to go from left all the way to right plus one because they said that like it can contain the boundaries as well okay so that's the main reason we are doing this now num is equal to val to hold the original value and answer 
will be equal to true okay then then what can we do now while num while num if to find the mod which will be equal to num mod now if mod is equal to equal to zero or val whoops yeah while mod uh, mod is not equal to zero so it's like not a self dividing number then what can we do we can just put answer as false and we can break the loop okay now that's it now what we can do is we can just do num slash slash equal to 10 to keep going on then now outside the while loop okay now if answer is okay now we can just put if answer like which means that if answer is true it means that it's a self dividing number so we can do result dot append val okay because that contains the original number and that should be it then at the end we can just return uh, result let's see if this works this val is not defined mm. Oh, it says val is not defined um, because it should not be for i in range, it should be for val in range, okay? Because like num contains the original number. Let's see if it works. There you go, it works. Let's submit. And there you go, that's how you solve this problem. Hopefully you guys got the idea. If you have any doubts, do leave them in the comment section down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And that's it for this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.